thing in Toronto for the writer's retreat was definitely the right choice for a Canadian location. As the capital of the province, the project focuses on overall the most densely populated city, actually three times the size of our capital, Ottawa. It felt like I was just right in the heart of modernity. I was an insider. I was intel. I knew the ins and outs, and I was about to share them with my audiences. In contrast to the last retreat in Algonquin, it was such a different change to be able to walk outside of the King Edward and see endless amounts of people, places, and things. Long gone were the open views of trees, animals, and lake horizon seen on the Algonquin tour. When you move your characters to a completely different location like that, like plants, you need to be careful not to scare them. Like people, they can just be culture shocked. And I felt I had to search a lot deeper for them, walk around, discover more. There was just so much in the offering where one, you know, would be like, I don't even know where to begin. Except for me, I'm right-handed, so I always turn left, just like I always draw the left side of a heart first. You can find so much if you just take a little bit of a risk, and sometimes I can feel like they're just calling out to me. In Toronto in general, you can just see so much from shopping to the island to nightlifes and the towers, and I've already had the chance to experience all this, so I really was solely finding the people that I had seen in my dreams. I knew that they were here somewhere. Been in the mall, been having coffee, a beer, lunch after a three hour business meeting. I don't know where I was looking. And being a writer means sensing the world around you, interpreting it, and sharing it with the people who also connect with the things that you're talking about. And the depths of these people became so diverse here um, that the stories on route crazy beautiful people and Tom Thompson 100 grew ever more intricately each time that I stepped out of the King Edward Hotel and it was just wonderful. The hotel itself staying there was great, a little bit smaller than the last place that I had. Didn't have that, here's a you know quiet place, reading room to sit and do your work. I had to really concentrate on what I was doing wherever I was. I was in a smaller room, didn't have that same feel, even though it was king. I couldn't just go out on my balcony and relax. There was just people everywhere. And so I think having the two retreats together, uh, being so much different from Paris, sort of like a hybrid of the two, I've now been able to experience everything full circle and it would be really great to start working on how I can share all of these things with you guys.